Hey guys, how's it going? So these are some notes for solving multi-step equations, which basically could be anything that's three steps or more. Um, right here, what you see is a, a little acronym, DCMAM, um, don't call me after midnight. And, and basically what DCMAM does is it breaks down some steps for solving multi-step equations. Um, First is distribute, second, combine like terms. We will do this separately on the left or on the right side of the equation. Third, move the variables to one side. Normally, I'll move the lesser variable. Um, fourth, add or subtract to undo um, slash use inverse operations, and then multiply or divide, right? So um, we'll go ahead and get into this first problem. So this first problem, 12f plus 2 times 3 minus 10f. Um, if you follow the steps, the first step says to distribute. So I'm just going to follow the steps. This, this problem is kind of long. It has like all the steps. So there is some distributing here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Bring down the 12F. Um, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 10 is 20. So it will be a minus 20F. Um, on this side, I'm just going to bring everything down for now. That way I can do these one step at a time. So, um, and then the next step is combine like terms separately on the left and the right. In, the fa in fact, let's make sure we put that line down so we can verify the right and left. So, so combine like terms on the left side, you have 12f minus 20f, that's negative 8f. Um, bring down the plus 6. And then over here, um, remember you combine like terms on the left side, then you combine like terms on the right side. So your like terms here are 25 minus 15, 25 minus 15 is 10. The plus 2f just comes along for the ride. And, um, and then the next step says, third step, move the variables to one side. Normally move the lesser variables, so negative 8f and 2f. Um, negative 8 is less than 2, so I'm going to move that by adding it. So you move a variable from one side to the other, still by doing the opposite of whatever it is. Um, 8f cancels here. 6 is left there. And then over here I'll have a 10 plus, um, 2 plus 8 is 10f, so 10 plus 10f. Um, oh, now it's down to two steps. Um, and so still though, next is adding and subtracting, which would fall here. I'd subtract 10 both sides. 6 minus 10 is negative 4. 10 minus 10 is 0, of course. And then 10f is still left there. And I'm almost done. Last step, right? 10 times f is what's going on here. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. And um, we have our answer that the answer is f equals negative 4 tenths, which is aka negative 2 fifths. Right? If you reduce that, negative 4 tenths, you should get negative 2 fifths. And, and anyhow, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, move along. Not all the, kind of didn't end up on the screen there. Sorry about that. Um, there it is. So, um, hopefully, you can see it, and I am going to move along to the next few problems. All I have to do on this one is combine like terms. None of the other steps apply um, yet. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Negative 2x equals 6. When, um, here, though, I do have one more step, and it is dividing. So... Um, divide by negative 2 and x equals 6 divided by negative 2 and negative 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. Um, over here on this one I have some more combining like terms, right? Remember this section is solving with like terms. So um, negative 5x plus 6 minus 8. The plus 6 and the minus 8 are like terms. So negative 5x plus um, 6 minus 8 is negative 2, so let's put minus 2. And now it's a two-step equation. Remember, normally in your two-step equations, you're going to undo the adding before you undo the multiplying or dividing. Same thing as here, right? I'm going to undo adding and subtracting. Oh, you can't see what I'm pointing at. I'm just pointing at the steps. Remember, D DC, ma'am, distribute, combine like terms, move the variables to one side, add, subtract, multiply, divide. So um, 
Anyhow, we're on the add subtract step. Excuse me. Negative 5x equals 23 plus 2, which is 25. If you divide both sides by negative 5, you have your answer. Um, x equals negative 5. Um, these ones down here, you can see the steps are a little more, but um, let's go ahead and move forward. So combine like terms here, 6x minus x is 5x, 6x minus 1 again is 5x. Then here, um, 4 minus 2.1 is going to leave us with 1.9. Um, next step, you're going to subtract the 1.9. And remember, I am following the steps. These don't have every step. Um, the steps up top, dang it, let me scoop this up, guys. Um, I got to get used to this. But either way, you can now see what I did here. And um, 1.9 will cancel. 5x comes along for the ride. And then this is negative 3 minus 1.9, meaning it, I am going to add there. So um, so 3 plus 1.9 is 4.9, and that should stay negative. I'm almost done here. I'm just going to divide by 5 to wrap this up, and x equals negative 4.9 fifths, which you don't want, really. You don't want a decimal inside a fraction. So let's go ahead and move the decimal place over 1, so we could have negative 49. And this will stay all good as long as I move this decimal over one. There's no decimal, meaning it's on the right. And I am going to have to fill in a zero there. So negative 49 fiftieths. That one. And D, you can take a look at it. The, I keep forgetting to draw this line, but that line may be helpful, you know, once you distinguish the right and left side. That, um definitely makes it a little clearer. So I'm going to distribute first here, 4 times 3 is 12x, or 4 times 3 is 12, plus the x comes along. 4 times 4 is 16, that's a minus 16, don't forget about that next, minus 4, it all equals negative 80. I'm going to combine these two like terms, negative 16 minus 4 is minus 20, and that all equals negative 80. Um, now undo the adding and subtracting, right? Add 20. So 12x equals, right? That 20 is gone. Negative 80 plus 20 is negative 60. And if you divide by 12, the answer is negative 5. Shoot, sorry about that. Went off screen a little bit there. Um, well, at least you can see that now. Okay, guys, carrying on here. These are, um, a lot of these don't have as many steps as that very first one. On this one, I'm going to combine like terms here on the right. Over on, don't forget, line down from the equal sign. Um, and then the negative 16 doesn't have any like terms, so I'm just going to bring that down. And 4x plus 4x is 8x. I'm left with one last step here, which is dividing. Remember, 8 times x here. So I get rid of the 8 by doing the opposite of times, or the opposite of multiplication. Divide. So 8's cancel. You have 1x left. Negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2. Remember, a negative number divided by a positive number, a negative number. And now this one here, this one's very similar because it only has like terms on one side of the equation. Um, and then this is not a like term with those, so bring the negative 3 down. 6x minus 7x is negative 1x or negative x. Bring down the negative 10. Um, and then I am following the DC MAM steps. Don't call me after midnight, DC MAM. That's... Um, if you need to distribute, do that first. Again, just a reminder that we're doing that. Then C, combine like terms. M, move the variables to one side if they're on both sides. And then, um, really, this, this problem didn't have any of that. This one now does have the A, though, the add or subtract. Got to add 3. Um, bring down that negative x. Negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. You will have to divide by negative 1 here to get x as opposed to negative x, so uh, that'll make negative 1 will make a positive x, negative 7 divided by negative 1 is 
positive 7. Um, and then here we have uh, one more, right? We're going to distribute first. That makes sense here. Um, negative 2.3 times 3, what's well, so that's going to be negative 6.9x. And then negative 2.3 times 1.2. So I have my calculator handy here. Um, this is going to be a minus 2.76 when I multiply, plus 4x, bring that along for the ride equals negative 4 bring that along we do have some like terms here negative 6.9 x and 4 x again continuing to follow the steps here 4 minus 6.9 is negative 2.9 x minus 2.76 should come down come along for the ride minus 4 comes along um, now I'm going to add add 2.76 to both sides and let's see what that is, negative 4 plus 2.76, right? This will cancel, bring down the negative 2.9x, and negative 4 plus 2.76, what is that? Um, negative negative 1.24. Um, my last step here, again, this is getting a little um, sloppy with whatnot. I don't have space and... and the decimals aren't that fun, but last step, divide by negative 2.9. I know a negative number divided by negative number is going to be positive, and um, let's just use a calculator to wrap this up. Um, 1.24 divided by 2.9, remember it's going to be a positive, because a negative number divided by a negative number is positive, and it's 0.4275. Let's just round that to 0.43, so on this one, x is approximately... 0.43. That's uh, that's that one was pretty nasty. All right, guys. So this next one has a heading: variables on both sides. I'll, I'll still follow the DCMAM, the Don't Call Me After Midnight acronym.